Adam, the speculation is over. The signing that everybody hoped for and wanted has now taken place. Matt Green returns to Mansfield Town. How have you managed to pull it off? A lot of hard work. Um, it's been um, negotiations going on for um, for a few days now. We, we we spoke to Matt a couple of weeks ago and, and had him in and had a good chat with him and, and kind of um, painted the vision of, of how the football club is, is going forward. He he obviously has got an affinity with his club already, but um, he wanted to know that we were um, we were moving forward. Um, so we sat down with myself and the chairman, and um, we, we painted in the picture of of how we see the future. Um, he was over the moon with that. He wanted to 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 buy into that and be part of this club again. Um, he's had a lot of interest in him from from Championship clubs and League One clubs. Um, so it was important. Um, that he believed in what we were going to do, and then um, the, the the chairman did the rest. So we, we we thank the chairman for for making the deal happen, and obviously we're we're over the moon to have Greeny back. Did your personal relationship with him help him signing? Me and Greeny, we we've known each other for um, a good few years now, and um, I've got him a lot of goals in his career, so I think that helped. Um, but no, we. Um, I know Green inside out, I know what makes him tick, I know what makes him not tick and I know what pushes his buttons, I know how to get the best out of him. Um, so for me, I looked at it as a perfect fit, he's somebody that he's, he's a natural goal scorer, he'll always score goals, he's, his movement's um, very good, he's, he's clever, he's, he's powerful, he's quick and he's finishing as, as we all know his, his top draw. Um, so I mean I think our, our uh, our closeness probably did pay a, um, a part in the deal and um, I'm overjoyed to get it done. Because the club has experienced a famine in attack in the past two seasons, does this signing make it even more important? Um, I think any any centre forward, forward signing this summer was going to be important because of the, the drought we did have um, last year and the, the season before. We haven't really been prolific in... In, in our attacking play. Now, just because we've signed Matt Green doesn't mean we're going to go and score 400 goals next season. There's a lot of other elements that we have to improve on. Um, we're only going to score goals if we play um, a certain way that's going to create chances. So, match just one part of the jigsaw. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a big part, but the the other parts we're looking to, um, to fit in um, are going to be special as well. And um, like I said in my press yesterday, we, we want to go and compete in this league next year we want to play a certain style of play that will um, will create chances for people like Matt so um, it's great to have him back in the building and I'm looking forward to working with him again Update us on any other transfer activity if you please Yeah we're speaking to a, a couple more today I'm hoping to have uh, one more over the line um, before the close of play today is another exciting um, exciting option um, comes from a league above so and again a very good player so we're we're starting to move forward now. Well, I'm not going to rush into to deals because there's a there's a lot of good footballers out there. Um, there's a lot of people fighting for the signatures, and I'll make sure that the deals that we do get are right for the football club. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, Mark.